Alrighty, so it's been approximately two months now since the Acolyte has been cancelled and we've heard from Amanda Stenberg, Leslie Hedlin and her wife. However, there was one person that we didn't hear from at the time, but recently she has finally come out to speak. I think she took her time to really think about this, what she had to say, because she's going a step further. She's not just following the formula of blaming you and I, the fans, that we were responsible. She's gone one step further. Check this out. The acolyte actress Jodie Turner-Smith accuses Star Wars fans of racism and charges Disney with failing to protect the actors from alleged racism. So she's not just blaming the fans now, she's actually blaming Disney. And she's got some words of wisdom that she is trying to advise Disney with, that Disney should have done this. And if they had done this particular words of wisdom that she's about to apply right now, that things would have been different for the acolyte. So I want to talk about this, but before we get into this, I'd like to ask you guys to smash the like button down below. It's massively, massively important. I do sincerely appreciate it. Also, make sure you leave your comments. And if you are new or a recurring person and you do like what I do on this channel, I talk a lot about what's going on in Hollywood and all of this pop culture and culture war, and sometimes sprinkle a little bit of straight politics in there. Please do consider subscribing as well. So now let's get straight into the article. I'm going to share my opinion as we go along. Feel free to share your opinion in the comment section below. Without further ado, here we go. Speaking with Glamour in the wake of the show being cancelled after the first season due to low ratings, which is the exact reason why the show got cancelled in the first place, Turner Smith stated, quote, Disney's got to stop doing this uh, thing where they don't say anything when people are getting effing dogpiled on the internet with racism and BS. Well, perhaps since we've not seen any of these things as any proof whatsoever, everything they say regarding the dogpiling of racism and so on and so forth has always been alleged. We've not seen anything. Maybe that's why Disney decided to keep quiet this time around. I'm just trying to play a little bit of a devil's advocate here because we have yet to see any of these threats or any of these racist chants or whatever towards any of these actors. All we have seen is straightforward criticisms of the show. The show is creatively bad the aesthetics of the show is terribly bad the writing is terribly bad the whole plot of the show is terribly bad i don't even know what to say they're all big old bag of trash according to tyrone magnus now she then goes on to add she added it's just not fair to not say anything it's really unfair wow words of wisdom it's not fair it's really unfair this woman is full of bags of wisdom. I just can't comprehend at this moment. It sounds like a particular um, candidate that is, you know, contesting, vying for the position of the most powerful person in the world who, you know, talks in a lot of word salad. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds just like that to me. Um, <clears throat> Turner Smith continued, quote, I would, it would just be nice if the people that have all the money we are showing their support and putting their feet down, you know, pretty much like Obama did recently, putting his feet down on black men and telling them you should be ashamed of yourself because this is what they do. Once they disagree with you, they tend to want to blackmail you or some kind of blackball you or some kind of demean you, degrade you and, you know, using their firm talking to, you know, they will call you all sorts of name on the planet, you know, and these things, it doesn't work. It doesn't work anymore. Nobody gives a rat's ass. You can't shame people to watch your show. If your show is a bag of dog shit, nobody's going to want to watch your show. Even the black people that you are trying to pander to. Now she says, this is unacceptable. This is what Disney should have said, right? You are not a fan. If you do this, make a really big statement and just see if any money leaves. That's what she's trying to insinuate here, that if Disney had given the fans a stern talking to, that the fans would have just cower and quiver and just gone and saw her show regardless and just watch it from the beginning to end. Why? Because we're so scared. We don't want to be branded as racist. We don't want to be branded as bigots. We don't want to be branded as the alt-right. Well, too late. We've been branded as sexist, racist, bigots, misogynistic, misogynoir. We've been branded as the alt-right. We've been branded as conservative. We've been branded as everything you can think of in the book including white supremacy right including white supremacy and sometimes even being called the big bad guy from 1945 right it's absolutely insane the way that these people think however what she's saying is absolutely idiotic in my own personal opinion because this is something that disney has already done Back in 2022, following the premiere of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series on Disney+, Plus, the 
company posted on X, we are proud to welcome Moses Ingram to the Star Wars family and excited for Reva's story to unfold. If anyone intends to make her feel in any way unwelcome, we can't, we have only one thing to say. We resist, right? They gave us a stern talking to regarding Reva, didn't they? In subsequent posts, it added, <laughs> there are more than 20 million sentient species in the Star Wars galaxy. Don't choose to be a racist, right? This is the same old tireless argument that they always make. We've heard them make this argument about Ariel saying that only racist people would not like the race swapping of Ariel that, you know, they gave us a stern talking to that there were so many types of uh, mermaids in the sea. And so, you know, it's okay. It's okay if ariel is black that was their excuse that was their argument for race swapping ariel and that if you don't like it you're automatically racist that's the same tireless formula argument that hollywood has been doing time and time again and how did it work out for them with ariel they spent over 330 million dollars or thereabouts on that particular movie how much did they make 545 million it was an absolute loss absolute loss for that movie regardless of how much they spent about 80 million dollars in marketing that movie still it didn't move the needle whatsoever because these people are yet to get that you do not get new fans by alienating the original fans and what they will always want to do and try to do is they try to attribute those original fans to whiteness and say it's only white people that were the original fans so it's only white people that we are talking to insane it's absolutely insane and it's absolutely moronic and idiotic in my own personal opinion now this is the proof right here if you're looking at the proof of what disney did to protect this person right because they were claiming they were claiming that she was receiving uh racist um whatever backlash from people right and so not even only that i remember obi-wan kenobi coming out to do a video from his car talking about you know the whole thing and that he was uh, ashamed and so on and so forth matter of fact it's right here <laughs> the show's executive producer and obi-wan kenobi actor iwan mcgregor also made a car video that was published to the official star wars account in the video he stated it seems that some of the fan base from the influential fan base now you're talking about influential fan base you are specifying then then that means you're talking about star wars theory you're talking about nerdrotic you're talking about um ryan kino the geeks and gamer guys now you're talking about all of these guys meanwhile there's eric july who happens to be a black guy did not like that particular show said it was going to be dead on arrival because he knew the plot of the show before the show came out and he knew people were not going to be going for it they didn't make the show about obi-wan kenobi they made it more about river and people did not want to see obi-wan kenobi show and you present them with river it's a bait and switch once again right because she was never part of that story she was never part of that world but they tried to shoo us her in one way or another Tyron Magnus is a black guy. Didn't like that particular show. Jay Long Redbone, also a black woman, did not like that particular show. And yours truly did not like that particular show. I didn't really think much of it because they were trying to add things that didn't really happen in that world into Obi-Wan Kenobi. So they have legitimate criticisms for these things. And it's not racist to have that. In any case, right, she, he goes on to say, it seems that some of the fan base from the influential fan base have decided to attack Moses Ingram online and send her the most horrendous racist DMs. And I, and I heard some of them uh, this morning and it just broke my heart. Why didn't you go and read it for yourself? Why don't you tell us what these alleged racist attacks are? Why don't you? They never do, right? He then goes on to say, Moses is a brilliant actor. She's a brilliant woman and she's absolutely amazing in this series. Look, I can't argue whether she's a brilliant actor or a brilliant woman, but what she was trying to portray, she didn't really suit it. She was trying to portray this nemesis um you know uh dark lord or whatever and it, she wasn't nemesis at all because one of the things these people do not get is they think that to be nemesis you have to look a certain way you have to act a certain way you have to talk a certain way which she was forcing every single thing now can i blame the actress for that no i blame the directors because that's the direction that they are asking her to go to so maybe in their own sight yes i can't argue that she might be amazing to them but is she amazing to the viewers I beg the differ. Now, McGregor added, quote, she brings so much to the series. She brings so much to the franchise. And it just sickens me to my stomach to hear this had happened. 
<laughs> no, she did not. That's why your franchise lost well, well over half of the viewers over the course of the show because people just were not interested in her. Her character was not interesting. Besides, her plot was already known. We already knew she was going to turn to some kind of a, a good person and so on and so forth. And that uh, there was something behind uh, all of the actions that she was taking. I mean, it was just pop and plain, right? It was just right there. No, nothing that she did was actually appealing to a lot of people so that was the case right there and um yeah according to uh, um jody turner smith this type of strategy should work right but <laughs> apparently it didn't work with obi-wan kenobi it doesn't work with any other show that they've put out there it doesn't work with any shows that disney have been putting out there or, or the movies that they've put out there they've lost a lot of money trying to alienate the fans calling the fans racist sexist bigoted and all the other names in the woke book right then she also insinuated that Disney should have been pandering to black people. You know, what she just said now, she was saying if they had done that, I bet you that more black people would watch the show as a result. So she goes on to say this. She said, I bet you it won't. That is when she said, if you make this big statement, uh, well, make a really big statement and just see if anyone leaves. She then goes on to say, I bet you it won't uh, because people of color and especially black people make up a very large percentage of the buying power. Not for watching movies, my dear. I know that there is such a thing as the black dollar, which actually statistically shows that black people spend more money in America than any other uh, demograph. But it doesn't apply to when watching movies she then decided they might find that it's actually more lucrative for them but everyone's using woke like it's a dirty word woke is a dirty word but i'm not going to be going into explaining that but i'm certainly going to black man explain the blackness in terms of the spending of the power of the black dollar you see when it comes to the power of the spending of the black dollar which she is thinking that it will have a strong effect if they actually pandered to black people that the money was not going to leave the money is not going to it's going to start coming from the black people people understand this black people do not spend money on immaterial things they do not spend their time on immaterial things they spend money on shoes air jordans yeezys and so on and so forth they spend money on gold watch or diamond watch jacob and stoles and the likes of them they spend money on gold chains the jesus pieces if you know what i mean or the cross pieces right they spend money on hoodies clotheslines Benz, Bentleys, these are the type of materialistic things that the black dollar goes into. Statistically showing, right? Economically showing, this is where the black dollar goes into. Everybody knows this. It doesn't go into them watching movies. They tried this with Ariel. And of course, a lot of black people did try to support Ariel, but what did it land them? A big old bag of loss, right? That's what it cost Disney. A whole big old bag of loss. And why is this happening? It's because when you're trying to win new uh, viewers to your show, you don't try to alienate the old people. This has happened with Doctor Who. This has happened with them trying to do that with uh, uh, Amazon Rings of Power when it comes to uh, Amazon's uh, show as well. They said the exact same thing, that this is a, a, a world with different people and they just want the world of JRR Tolkien to reflect reflect what it is in the real world but the world of jrr talking was not talking about the real world it was talking about middle earth it wasn't talking about the real world so these people they will never get it they are absolute morons they are absolute idiots and they just told the line of the formula that has been given to them by hollywood but is it working it's not and the key reason why it's not working is because most of these people they are disconnected and massively delusional which is what jody turner smith is in any case you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below i want to thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please feel free to like share comment subscribe click that bell for notification and i'll catch you guys on the next one take care peace and sarah's out bye bye now